another game day, another blowout for the Tommies. On the opening drive, running back Nick Waldvogel scampered into the end zone from five yards out for the first score of the game in just 51 seconds. The St. Thomas defense came up with a turnover on the ensuing Hamlin possession, leading to another five-yard touchdown run, this time from running back Jack Kaiser. The scoring continued. O'Connell found tight end Charlie Dowell for a 36-yard touchdown pass to make the score 21-7. Chuck's going to play well for us in any game, and, and whether that shows up with his statistics, um, catching the ball like it has in, in St. Olaf and today, um, or, or it doesn't, uh, he's, he's a big player for us. In the second quarter, the Tommy scored touchdowns on three consecutive possessions before defensive back Kyle Coyne ran an interception back 28 yards for a touchdown to put the Tommies up 48-14 just before halftime. In the second half, I love that we came back out with our first string and we were able to shut them down and score, but we still need to be better when we put those depth players in. The Pipers got on the board first in the second half when Ham on quarterback Bona found running back Hoyful Adam over the middle to make it 48-21 midway through the third quarter. Hamlin recorded a late field goal, but St. Thomas was the last to score when fullback Jeremy Molina recorded his first touchdown as a Tommy. In St. Paul, Travis Swan for TommyMedia.com.